Uh, if you picked up some very nice UI delicious cake stickers, courtesy of this fine gentleman here, applause. Hey. Anytime, anytime. Okay, how many of you use this program called NPM? How many of you have problems with too many dependencies on it? Not enough. Hey! <laughs> you see, having a lot of dependencies right, gives you problems like uh, left pad breaking on you, being deleted, event stream installing a Bitcoin miner, causing millions of developers to be frustrated. But what if the problem isn't too many NPM packages? but too little NPM packages. What if every package is reduced to its smallest possible size with a well-defined title that perfectly describes its function and never change? From the creators of GPU.js, we bring you the next step in JS efficiency, super silly depifier. <laughs> so let's just say you have some code. So this is your code in production, hopefully. Uh, what you can do <laughs> subsequently Using our tool in Node.js, you can then break down your code. You can compile your code and break it into smaller components. So what you can see here, this code will then be split into this output, where every line in this code becomes a module <laughs> with its with its, with, its, uh, with its name declared according to its exact purpose. X++ is literally just X++. <laughs> so, uh, inside your node modules, you can see how this is implemented. Literally, so X equals to X plus 3, literally. And, this, and to prove this actually works, You will see the output 10 shell, which is, if you do the math somewhere there, correct? If, let's say I make a change here. Okay. Hey, no, you need to compile it, compile it. Compile again. There you go. The change is there. This is real. And, but why stop at simple applications when you could do things, or you can do this similarly on the infamous left pad? So this is the actual left pad code running that. Likewise, it will output even more stuff. Or, take it a next step further, we can do this on the, app, on the compiler itself. <laughs> Which will give you this giant file. <laughs> but, what if that's not enough? One more, there's always one more thing, isn't there? You can it's not just enough to build your modules. You have to actually publish them. And, that is, and if you give it a namespace subsequently, that's what it does. It pushes every dependency to the NPM module. And because we are not going to wait for it to upload, this is the actual upload. I already uploaded it in advance. <laughs> this is a random namespace generated by it, so don't worry, you guys won't be affected. And you can NPM install. Yeah, and you can NPM install it back as well. So to literally show that it's using Dell's modules, you can, wherever you, no, modules, uh, output, eh? 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, the thing is, NPM dependency errors, you're probably doing it wrong. You just need to make it smaller, and you have more modules, and your problems will go away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.